The member for Petrie. Well, thanks, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investment. Will the minister please outline to the House how the coalition government's trade agenda is creating more and better paid jobs for Australians? Is the minister aware of any alternative approaches? The Minister for Trade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I uh, thank the member for Petrie for his question. Uh, another member of the coalition that's absolutely steadfastly wedded to making sure we open up export markets for Australian small businesses and wedded to the types of trade outcomes this government has delivered consistently over the past several years. And I note, having visited the member for Petrie's electorate, uh, a great local business in his electorate, Packer Leather, which supplies, among other products, leather for kookaburra cricket balls. They, apply, they of course, also supply the iconic Sharon footies. And they also supply footy boots for soccer players and, of course, the iconic RM Williams boots. That leather often comes from Packer Leather as well. So a great example championed by the member for Petrie of a business that is succeeding now. We saw under the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement uh, that the 14 per cent tariff on kangaroo leather exports is eliminated over four years. Now, this gives them unprecedented export opportunity into the world's second largest economy. And it's outcomes like that and what it means for jobs in the member for Petrie's electorate that underpin why we pursued the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement and underpin why we pursued the TPP-11. And it's not like everyone's agreed with us. Both on the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement and on the TPP-11, the obstacle that stood in the way was the Australian Labor Party. The people who kept naysaying the TPP-11 and the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement were the Australian Labor Party. And so when the member for Petrie asks about alternative approaches, well, there are some. I couldn't help but notice that Jed Carney, Labor's candidate in Batman, said this about the TPP-11. Trade agreements like this are pin-ups of the failed neoliberal experiment. The Turnbull government should abandon this deal. I mean, this is the Sorry, kind no, of that, rhetoric. Is that the Green candidate? No, not the Green candidate, and it is a very loony left type of comment. But that's where the Australian Labor Party is today. As the Prime Minister has outlined, the fact is that the few rational economists on that side, and I'm slightly terrified I'm going to be asked to point one or two of them out, but the few that were there, they've lost the war, Mr. Speaker, because the Australian Labor Party has been dragged to the loony left now, and it's people like Jed Carney who described trade deals like the TPP as being a fa failed neoliberal experiment. They're the ones that call the shots now. You know what she said about Chafta? Jed Carney said Chafta would be a job-destroying deal. But what we've seen under the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement and what we'll see under the TPP-11 agreement is a commitment of the coalition to growing exports, to growing investment, to growing jobs. And the only people that stand in the way of us achieving that success is the Australian Labor Party and their loony left trade agenda.